Hi guys, this is Ratchet Saw, and we are playing Criminal Case Conspiracy Case 25, Muddy the Waters. Let's watch Chapter 2 and Cathy's about to tell us where our victim was killed, since he wasn't exactly killed at Lola Vallis's mansion. Do I have news for you? Cathy, what is it? You know how your victim was killed in one place and his body washed up in another? Well, I know exactly where the murder happened. So where was it? How did you manage to find that out? After grilling Martin about the body, I updated my geo-tracking software parameters. It was able to calculate what are called drift equi equations. According to Ritty's weight, the weather, the time of the murder, and the place where Katria found the body, I deduced that the victim was killed at the West Bridge, or whatever was left of it. That's impressive, so... Right, the bridge. I heard it split in two after the earthquake. It's not the safest of places right now, but if that's where our victim was murdered, that's where we'll go. Lead away, Katia. Whatever it takes to solve a murder. Well, he was stabbed and... Killer wanted to make it look like he was drowning, so... And that's him drowning, and then the killer pulled him out and put him in... Lola Valis's garden. Well, even though the earthquake happened, this view from uh, this perspective, we are looking right at the waterfalls. It's it's actually beautiful, even though it's muddy. First aid kit. What, the killer tried to revive the victim? It could be possible, since we don't know the motive for murder. Rope? Well, yeah, he was tied with rope. Ktria, have you seen those waterfalls? The water the district is flooded. The earthquake literally made it fall down below water level. Sorry, I'll try and focus. I see you found a rope, and it's got blood on it. You're right, the rope is identical to the one the killer used to tie off with his legs to a stone. So Cathy was right, Jordan was killed here. We must collect a sample of that gunk from the killer's rope. This disaster came from fluid control. If someone was patrolling here, they might have seen something. No name, but there's a signature. But yeah, let's search our database for the owner. Okay. Alright, let's first examine this rope. Okay. Great job, Katia. Let's send a sample from the kill's rope to the lab to find out what it is. Okay? Alright, who's gonna do it? Rupt is going to do it. Alright, now let's see whose first aid kit is this. You're the Fi, Danny gives signature. I know of him, and I was kinda expecting him to come, so... The signature on that relief key matches a certain Danny gives. Why does that name sound familiar? His brother was a victim. He was, His brother was killed, we investigated his brother's murder, so... Alright, he's a relief worker we met while investigating his brother's murder right after the earthquake. I wonder if he saw something on his patrol of the West Bridge. Let's go find Danny Katria. Okay. We meet again. After all these cases. 
I was kind of sensing he was going to come. I don't know. I I assumed it was going to be somebody familiar, and I remember that this guy is walking uh, as a. F he's helping uh, people. Uh, how should I say? He's he's the one helping the uh, people. After the earthquake happened, I don't know how I was supposed to say it, but I was expecting him to come, so... Lieutenant Katria, nice to see you again. I shake your hand, but I've been handling sandbags all day. One handshake and you'll be sandy for days. That's okay, I won't shake your hand. Yes, the flood made a mess of everything. Speaking of which, do you know for George Coprolite? Coprolite? Rings a bell, but I can't find you in a missing person slot. How long has he been missing for? He wasn't missing, so... Actually, he's been murdered. Thrown into the fluid waters on the bridge where he found your kid. Did you see anything peculiar? I'm sorry, Dick. Yeah, I didn't notice anything. But of course, I can't keep an eye on everywhere at once. Our rescue and relief team has had no rest. After flowing lava, we have to deal with flowing water. It's exhausting. My only comfort is when we play polo on the dry fields. Well, Mr. Gibbs, if you remember anything, let us know. Okay, you only play polo. Let's check out this orange powder. Rapper, I still say you should try my maple cinnamon peanut butter banana toast. Do you hear yourself? Does that really sound good to you? Actually, Amir, could I try it? Sorry, Katia, I know we are here to get the results of the stuff from the killer's rope. Did you guys find anything? Yes, that's why we started talking about sweet treats. The sauce has owes it co its color to cinnamon. It also contains yeast, sugar, and butter. In other words, the sample has leftovers from a cinnamon roll. Since you can enjoy a couple before murdering your victim. So, Akio has a sweet tooth. Unfortunately for them, they'll have to leave their pasture behind when they are sent to prison. Alright, yeah, we are getting somewhere. What do you say about returning to where we found the body? I say, let's go back. Let's go back to Lola's garden. Here we are already. And that's the way this phone. But what's it doing here if... Uh, if Lola doesn't know who he is, and and did the killer left behind, or I think Lola knows him. That's how all the suspects do. They say they don't know the victim, but uh, then when we interrogate for the second time, they say they the evidence says that they do know the victim. That's the victim's phone. It's got his face on it. But it's covered in mud. Did you think I managed to unlock it, Katria? Do you think a clue might have gotten stuck in a bunch of debris? Okay, let's have a look through it. Okay. I hope the mud didn't damage the phone itself. Alright, for the phone, let's uh, search through this rubbish. On, what are we looking for? Okay, that looks like a picture. Yeah, it looks like there was a torn photo floating in that junk. Getting stuck in there is probably the reason why it's not too soaked. I guess we better piece it back together. Okay. Alright, let's unlock uh, Victim's phone now. I think I'm going to send the phone to Katy because this phone is well, it's damaged from the body. Look at the screen, it's it's also damaged. Yeah, that's not gonna help us much. Good yeah, this phone has been very damaged by the water. Hopefully Katy will still manage to salvage something from it. I hope she can. Well, she can. She's a genius. If Alex is a digital god, then she is the digital goddess. Okay, now let's uh, restore this torn photo. 
Uh, what? What? Uh... Well, that looks like Lola, but uh, this picture looks like it was photoshopped. Katria, that picture is quite something. Is this showing some sort of ugly lizard creature woman? Well, you're right. The lizard woman in question looks like some twisted version of Lola Valles. And those are our victim's initials in the corner. So this is his creation. Lola just says she didn't know Jod, but he disliked her enough to do this. Let's see what she has to say about it. I'm sensing that he wasn't a normal photographer, that he was a paparazzi. Lieutenant Katina, you're back. I would offer you a cinema roll, but I'm afraid I ate them all. The flood and the murder have led me to stress eat. I know what that feels like, but we are here to talk about this artwork the victim did of you. Artwork? Lieutenant Katina, this is not art. This is a farce, and I'm the subject. So you're familiar with the photo, but you told us you didn't even know the victim. Well, I lie. That shadow photographer made fun of me. I hated him. I hired Jordan to touch up some pictures of me. Not the major, I just wanted to look fresh for my new album cover. But he turned me into a lizard lady, so that I looked sexier with scales and slime. And when I demanded my original prince back, he refused to return them. He was a ridiculous man child who took pleasure in mocking others. I am not sorry he's dead. Harsh words, Lola. I hope your temper didn't get the best of you and lead you to do something you'd regret. Look, she only is able to cinnamon rolls, so nothing. Let's check out victim's phone. Was there something interesting on it? Katria, that water damaged phone used every reminded me of the time baby Sammy threw my phone down the toilet. If you look on the bright side, at least now I know how to get data out of a waterlocked device. Does that mean you managed to salvage our victim's phone? Well, 24 hours in the water is a lot, but I know I should retrieve his latest voicemail. I knew you would let us down, Catty. What was the voicemail? The message was from the victim's wife. She sounded very angry. Told her not to bother coming home after the stunt he'd pulled. Looks like Aubrey was hiding something from us. Let's go talk to her. What kind of stunt was it? Alright, let's go talk to Aubrey. Mrs. Copperlight, we know you left your husband an angry voicemail shortly before he's dead. Why did you tell Georgia not to come home? Lieutenant how did you find out? Fine, if you must know, Georgia and I were having trouble with the adoption. He said he wanted kids, but his actions proved the contrary. After months of paperwork and calls, we were finally promised a child. All that was left was to pass the home inspection, which was yesterday. I spent the night preparing everything. I got my polo trophies out from storage. I tied the curtain cords in the most elaborate knots. I even ordered cinnamon rolls from Anuj Gosh's restaurant. I usually keep those for myself, but I wanted to make the best impression possible. Everything was perfect. But Jordan chose that time to get drunk to the eyeballs again. He acted as though we were adopting the agent. Oh, that can't have been good. I was mortified, and so was the agent. I knew he had been a disaster, but I didn't expect a call before he was he had been blacklisted by every agency in the country. Blacklisted! I'll never be able to have the family I've always wanted, and it's all Jordan's fault. What's worse, he didn't care. He just went to hang out with his pal, Nathaniel Earl, like it was any other day. I'm sorry your husband disappointed you this way, Mrs. Copperlight, but if you decide to take revenge on him, you'll be receiving a call from the law. Alright. Yeah, I saw how says in that his wife is going to be the killer. I mean, she has the strongest motive for murder, so... Wow, Katria, it doesn't seem like our victim was easy to live with. But who was that Nathaniel Earl Aubrey mentioned? Did they hug out shortly before the victim was murdered? We must talk to him. Okay. Alright, let's go talk to Nathaniel. Nathaniel Earl. Oh man, it's the cops! Why are you here? I was about to go meet my buddy man. Why are you here? Your buddy Jordan Copperlight? You got some bad news. He's been murdered. 
What? Oh man, oh man, but I just saw him yesterday. Oh man, this news is tied by some kid. Like, a construct or not, man. Did you notice anything weird when you last saw Jordan? Oh man, I'm no cop. We just hung out like usual, man, and he said, See you tomorrow. So I was like, See you tomorrow, you know. After that, I just went home, man. Got myself some cinnamon bonds and fell asleep. We see. Well, if you do remember anything, call us. Alright. I'm not sure what to make of this case, Katria. Seems like our drug addict Vitti had a time for provoking anger. Lola went from pretending she didn't know him to admit that she's glad he's dead. And his wife, Aubrey, was serious at Jordan for ruining her chances of adopting a child. She said that instead of being responsible, he ran out to hang out with his buddy, Nathaniel, which... Wow, what's going on? Is the ground shaking because you're moving left and right? What's going on? Oh, wait, yeah, I think the plank I'm standing on is a very steep... And you fell into a pool, right? Splash. Ah! He fell into a pool. And we were standing on a plank. And what was I thinking, I somehow expected another aftershock. I think we are supposed to expect another aftershock to come, so... But he was, Joseph was just moving like left and right and it was just a plank. And I think she just had a swim in a pool, so... Alright, we got to start here we are you playing the chapter 3. So, thank for watch. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!